Yo, what's going on guys, and today I want to talk about who will the Los Angeles Lakers be signing in free agency, and obviously this is a big topic for some people, and even casual NBA fans, so before we start today's video, what do you think is going to happen? Will he go for Lonzo Ball, will he go for somebody else? So let's get right into today's video, and I think it'll be an interesting one, so before we start, I want to hear the lovely, lovely thoughts down below in the comment section, so I can hear... What do you guys believe is going to happen in this year's free agency? I think it's going to be quite an interesting one, and let's get into it. I'm going to start with talking about how will the Los Angeles Lakers be able to reacquire Lonzo Ball if they were to per se. I don't even know if that's like the best option. They do need a point guard, but let's. I'll break it down. An article by, I'm trying to see what it's called, Silver Screen and Roll explains it. I'm going to quote, this is all from this website. Then the Lakers would have to find takers for Codwell Pope, Gasol, and Kuzma. And they would have to announce cap holds on Dudley, Wesley, Matthews, Markeith Morris, and hoping they would all resign as veteran minimum. And again, Codwell Pope, Gasol, and Kuzma would all have to be found a ways to get rid of. And... That would open up $18.8 million in cap space and also allow them to keep Alex Caruso, Taylor Horn Tucker, and the 22nd pick. And then once the 22nd pick, he'll count for $2 million against the cap. So they'll have about $20 million in cap space and that should be enough to sign Lonzo Ball. Now the alternative of what they could do is signing Ball as a free agent, they could do a sign and trade, but that would hard cap themselves in the scenario that they would limit their ability to re-sign Alex Caruso and Taylor Horn Tucker. Why? Because if Ball signed a contract worth $20 million the first year, the Lakers would be just $6 million under the luxury tax threshold. Not only is that not enough to give Caruso and Horn Tucker new contracts, but it's hardly enough to fill out the roster with better minimum contracts. So right there, as you guys can see, it does create a little bit of a problem. So hopefully they can find it. A way to get Lonzo Ball so I think the best way is to get him as a free agent but like they are indeed interesting but he might not be the most realistic option now realistic guys who could play the could get signed by them and be a part of the team Jeff Green Jeff Green's a guy who played under Frank Vogel but he's also a former teammate of LeBron James and he's a guy who is a true 3 and D guy 3 and D player He's not as good as a defender as some of the other players on this team, but he is a 3 and D guy, and he he is a little one-dimensional in what he can provide. He's just a guy who can hit threes and occasionally rebound the ball, but I think he's the type of player they need who, for 15, 20 minutes a night, he's kind of freaking perfect. And he would fit really good, and he probably would. They have a, I believe it was a 9.5, not 9.5, like a 5.8 or like $6 million mid-level exception. So their mid-level exception will definitely cover, they can spend half of it on Jeff Green. So I think it definitely, 9.5. So they have a 9.5, my apology. 9.5 is definitely somebody they can spend it on. And that's why I think Jeff Green would be Awesome. Another guy that could go is Otto Porter. Otto Porter is a perfect example of a player who was overpaid. And then he became underrated. And I think he's a serviceable defender while he's a really good three-point shooter who is basically a 40% career three-point shooter. They could go for Spencer Didwitty if they lose out on Lonzo. And he would be a good guy. But he's opting out of like I think like 12 million so I think he's expecting more so I don't know if they could get him a guy I think they could go get if they get Jeff Green or maybe a guy like who I just said I'm like blanking on the name but Tony Snell would match up right there he is great at three three point shots he's not a guy who's gonna get big minutes off the bench and that's a good thing and that's what he's fine with and we saw where just being able to hit threes in the playoffs is great. He shot 52.9% beyond the arc. He only took 109 threes this year but in 47 games, but still, that's like the highest three-point percentage in a single season with at least 100 attempts. And for his career, he's a 39.7% three-point shooter. 
And he's an all right defender on his de best days, plus defender. Then you have like guys like Nico Batum, if you want, he wants to come across town or just switch locker rooms. He can come in, be that four who could like guard multiple positions. Obviously, Tory Craig fits on any team. Same goes with PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker would be beloved over here, and he would just be able to stretch the four, give him tenacious D and rebounding. And then Lou Will, you know Lou Will, just being the sixth man would be awesome for them. There's a lot that they can do, so I think it, it's it is very interesting to where they are. Another guy that they could go for, Josh Richardson, he can hit the shot, three-point shot, isn't as consistent. He's probably like more of a 34% three-point shooter, but he's great at defense. He can guard multiple positions, so that's somebody they could look into. Kendrick Nunn's a restricted free agent. I expect him to go back to Miami. But, yeah, when you look at this team, we can expect Morris, maybe Ben Mack. Macklemore. Jared Dudley, maybe. I doubt it. Like, he might retire or they bring him back to, as, uh, like, a vet man to be the voice of the locker room. Montrez Harold isn't staying. I'd be surprised if Alfonso McKinney stays. I think they're going to trade Kuzma. I wonder if they bring back Matthews. Caruso is definitely going to come back unless someone pays the shit out of him. Drummond's gone. So right there, it's just interesting of what they're gonna do. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's hella people like Jamichael Green would be cool. Reggie Bullock, I've said those for other teams, so it's, it's kind of interesting to see where they're at, cause you know, I don't think they're expecting to be there, so I don't think anybody else was. So we'll see what they'll do. Let me hear you guys' thoughts down below in the comments. We're going to milk this video to 8 minutes. Just because that's what we do here, guys. We we'll milk these videos to 8 minutes. And then we feel good about ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. What have you guys been up to today? I mean, I know the video game. We're going to take this sip of water. Oh, there goes off my dog. What do you guys hear? Losing her shit from something. I gotta go to the library and do some homework because I don't know. She's really going off. Really going off. I'm just watching this wait to get eight minutes. So, whoever just watched this for the last minute, bravo to you. Bravo to you. Goodbye.